breaking into his back and I brought back a series that I love 202 stay tuned you are tuned in to Black Hollywood Lives breaking into you guys, I am so excited to be here today. Welcome to Breaking Into here on Black Hollywood Live. I'm your host, James Law Jr. And I brought back somebody and some potties in here <laughs> from a show that I did on our sister network, which was uh, Spotlight On on AfterBuzz TV. But I decided to bring him on this show because I believe in this series so much. And the new season is out. And I have questions already. <laughs> <laughs> already. All the tea. Already. Yeah, get the tea ready. We must start spilling it. I'm so excited to have them here today. It's 202 The Series. You can find it on YouTube. It's so good. You have to go see it. It's, it's just, it's good. It's already out already. Go see it. And I'm going to start introducing you to each of the people who are the important parts of the show. And there's a couple people who are not here, which I wish were here. Mm. You know who I'm talking about who hasn't been here yet. Yeah. <laughs> he has not come on my show yet. But anyway, next to me, she has the best little baby on Instagram. Aww. I'm going to tell you. Just like the best one on earth. I swear to God. The most best dressed. <laughs> the best the most photogenic. I do. I do everything. And so, and so she plays Lola, and she's hilarious. T. Robinson. Hi. Hey, girl. Hi. You look great. Hi. Thank great. you. Now, across the table, these two came together. <laughs> now, if you want to know what's going on, go watch the episode that I had I did with them before. You can find all the details of how they got together and did this. But they created the series. It's so great. And they write and they sing on it. And they, he plays a weird guy and she's great. <laughs> she's holding secrets already <laughs> from her friends. So it was sitting from first when introduced. She's great. And her name is Melinda Hale. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Good, Welcome how are back. you? Thanks. Naya. And of course, my buddy, and he goes by one name on the series. He's going to give us one name. <laughs> Michael. Hi. Hi, Michael. Hi, guys. We got to go. And, he, and so now on the couch, these guys weren't banished there. It's just the hotness had wow. to go over there. They had to go over to the couch. Oh, the first no. guy. That's us. Had, that's us. He's talking about us. Yeah, you guys, exactly. <laughs> the guy with the hair, like Samson. Good. That's right, flipping hair back and forth. That's right. Flip your hair back and forth. That's right. The director of the, of the series, Justin Patton. Woo-hoo. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. My man crush every day. He knows this already. <laughs> he's back again, and he's super tall, you guys. Well, I was like, he's super tall. And, and so he said he's, he's really good to see. He plays Stephen Harry Holmes. How's it going? Hello. Yay. And we have somebody new in the house who's joining us for the first time on my show, and I'm so happy. And I'm going to attempt to say his name. He's hilarious in the series. And he knows who I'm saying. I wish he was on the show. You guys could be here together so I could talk to you guys together. <laughs> the banter. The ba- yes, the banter. <clears throat> so he plays Dave. I'm going to make sure I say, say this. Peace. God, God bless you. Uranus? <laughs> close? <laughs> nope. Oh, so close. Oh, so it. very close. Almost. Dang it. You know what? It would hurt if it wasn't my entire life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's not the worst I've heard. But see, it's, it's good you have a name that's unique. I think it should totally, it's a great thing. Oh, is it? Okay. What's called EL? <laughs> it's EL over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. By the so, way, so you, pronounce your name for me again. Uriamis. Uriamis. You were very close. It's not the worst yes. I've heard. I'm sure you've, yeah, I'm sure you've heard. I've heard much worse, but it was a rough childhood sometimes. Yes, I'm sure you have heard a lot of stuff. Explains a lot. Yes. So you guys, the series is 202 The Series. Of course, you can follow us on Breaking Into on Black Hollywood Live. Follow us on our Facebook page, Breaking Into, which I posted the first episode on a page. So just go there. Just one click, and you can actually watch it. And we're going to show a little clip of this of the episode uh, later on the show, of course. But first, we're going to have you talk to each of the guys and women that are here and just talk about a little bit about what their characters are and get into the season two. So first, I want to ask you. Okay. For people out there who have not seen the series, <laughs> what can we expect, Tia, this season so far? Um, well, Lola's dealing mm-hmm. with, uh, you know, a bit of um, sadness from the end of last season. Season. Yes. If you haven't seen yet, I'm not going to give anything no, away. away. Um, so she's trying to get back into herself, find herself, yes. find where she fits in, where um, things are flowing with her and her man, Stephen. Yes. yes. Um, mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I just think there's a lot of like soul searching and like really um, uh, just getting back to the essence of who she is. And there's then a, also, you know, holding up her friends and trying to support. There's a scene where you're dancing. Yeah. You go back in. I yeah. love that. Thank you. When you go back in, you kind of it feel like you're rediscovering yourself again. I am, and as as the actress and the character, because I haven't been able to go into the studio and do it as much either. So that day was just like. Was it emotional? <sighs> it was. It really was. Yeah, it's it's emotional was, I, now. I got emotional. <laughs> watching, I got emotional watching it. I got emotional watching um, it. It was just, and the song that we use is a, a friend of mine that I know from New York for oh, years wow. and years, and it's a beautiful song. Yes. And it just, it was really uh, cathartic to get back into yeah. the studio again. Um, 
for Lola and for Tia. Yeah, I was excited. So, when I saw I was like, oh, she's back in the studio. She's going to start you stretching. <laughs> I love the whole sequence. Yeah. Good job. He did, yeah, he did yeah. great. Yeah. It's and, all her, though. But I'm saying it was great just the way it was filmed, everything. I loved that whole... I mean, how was it for you when you were filming with her or doing that? Uh, it was really fun because I love working with dancers. Like, It's one of my okay. goals to keep doing more and more things with dancers because it's just beautiful watching people move and then we're friends we've been working on this show and then mm. this whole we did all of the first season not being able to see her dance and so <laughs> right. it like it was really exciting for me as well like wow she really is good like she is a dancer and this is cool a rusty dancer <laughs> <laughs> just like Lola <laughs> she is a little rusty nah, but it. it was yeah. it was really um, it was really a great moment and a great afternoon I felt it. I totally, Thank I totally you. felt it. Which is one of the greatest about the series. You, you feel. I, always, I said this last time. I feel like you're intruding oh, sometimes when I watch it. I'm like, I'm like, because you guys, it's very authentic. And kudos to you guys with the writing and how you and just and all the acting and everything. Just it's, you feel like these are your real friends. Mm. Oh. You guys talk to each other <laughs> like you talk to each other in real life. Yeah. yeah. Like you say things that I say to my <laughs> friends, like, hey, bitch. All stuff. Yeah. We, all, we all say that. Yeah. It's not anything bad. We all say that. Right. There are yeah. things you can get away with your friends yeah. that right. you can't get away with anybody else. Clear. I wouldn't just tell anybody, hey, bitch. But my yeah. friends, just like the way you talk to each other, the way you call mm -hmm. each other out on things. Yeah. And I have to say, that's a lot of the writing from yeah. Michael. Michael. I mean, the, so. the writing is so, it's so easy and it's, it flows so well and um, it's just natural. Yeah. You know, like sometimes you get scripts, you're like, <laughs> like, no one would say this. Say yeah. 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 But like, I, with he speaks to be our language. It's to be honest, that. it's a lot of listen. Like, because we hang we hang around each other, yeah. and it's like, okay, this is the dynamic between. Melinda and El, so let's yeah. Dave and Naya. Yes. That's, That's a very a specific thing. <laughs> <laughs> we need another We need a whole different that. show. A whole different, like, it's a different series. <laughs> but I said <laughs> earlier, um, folks, you guys said, I wish I had filmed it. These two talking, it was like, I was like it just sounded like the show was on. Like, I mean, the show, it was the show, it was the show. Like, it was so natural. I mean, T and I have been friends for years. Yeah, no, yeah. So, yeah, it, yeah. That's just who we are. <laughs> Now, Melinda, your character, I'm not going to give it away because you, you need to watch the first couple episodes because it's kind of crazy what you're doing. And talk, uh -huh. about, talk about you two. So, <laughs> what is Melinda kind of going through right now these days? Melinda and I. I'm sorry, Naya. Those are two different stories. Oh, yeah. Spill the tea, girl. Spill yeah. the tea. Spill the tea. Naya's just lying. Lying. I, lying. I, I know. Lying. What's going on? Um, so I'm just excited for that to all unfold and for everything. Yeah. Everyone to find out what she's lying about. She's off the couch. Who's she lying about? Yeah. And all that stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. Gonna be real good. I'm excited. No, I'm excited. Yeah, yourself, yeah. yourself's like, wow. I'm really curious <laughs> to see what goes on with this yeah. one. I'm sure. Now, Michael. Yes. Are we, are we going to see lots of your weird character this season? I've been. I've tried to pull him back a little oh, bit. Um, <laughs> Because because I want people to want him there. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to leave? I, 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 too much. I, want, I don't lot. want him to be like just hang because he if he's around too much he gets really like it's just really weird and yeah. it's not like interesting it's yeah. just weird and so <laughs> I I Rick has his part to play in yes. this season. <laughs> Um, and he and he shows up in the episode that comes out this week. Yeah, he shows up in mm -hmm. episode five, and he and he's kind of he has his eyes on his. He sees them as his friends. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they, they see him something yeah. differently. They see him yeah. differently, and so um, yeah, he he. He's watching them, even if they don't know. It. Wait, here's my question. Wait, who's, right, here's Wait, who's <laughs> living in the the actual apartment? Like, who's who, not living in? The exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, Everybody's like, 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 like three roommates living together in a house. But like now, it's like I mean, everyone kind of, it's just like an open door policy. Yeah, it's, yeah. Very <laughs> open door. it's very open door. I mean, when you're talking about two of the three actual yes. people who pay rent, yes, there right? sometimes, um, sometimes, have, pay rent have boyfriends and so then the boyfriend right yeah which is very real yeah. life which is yeah. very real life right. yeah but also if you look at like comedy series and sitcoms like friends and living single they're all at one person's apartment all the you know time. and everybody the girlfriends the, yeah girlfriends yeah, yeah yeah absolutely that's, I, I didn't thought of that way. It's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. People just come in. But I was just like, I was thinking, wait, there's this chick here, and then, but, but then, well, he's here, and then, well, then he's here too, and she's here. I'm like, I'm like, who's living here? Yeah. <laughs> How big is the apartment? <laughs> it, keeps, it, it has as many rooms as you need. <laughs> it needs yeah. to be, exactly. It's, no it's actually my apartment, and I do want them to all leave by the time I'm like, well, I've got four hours to get out of here. There's too many people in my apartment right now. So and, where, and where is your dog during this whole... She's... 
and quiet yeah. sometimes, but she's actually pretty good. Because she, yeah. yeah. she knows all of them. Yeah. They're like all family for her. So okay, and she likes most well, of them. Like, <laughs> she likes oh, most really? of them. She, yeah. she, she has a she has a warm up to me every time I come over there. Really? <laughs> okay, Cora. It take, yeah, it takes her at least an hour and a half. <laughs> that is crazy. And then she's like, oh, okay, she's okay. Yeah. yeah. That is crazy. She loves EL, she loves Tia, Love loves Harry. Like, <laughs> we, that's we, her have a, we have a thing going on. Um, <laughs> yeah. They have a special yeah. Michael, relationship. Michael, yeah, I don't that's know. interesting. I don't really know why either. I, I'm just as nice to her as everyone else. I think else it's because you're so tall. <laughs> It's because you're black. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> why are you black? It was like, 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 And maybe she's in the oh Asians, who knows? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she's, she's in the mixed Asians. Like, I mean, who knows? She's like, I don't like black people. That's <laughs> <laughs> my mother. That's, that's my mom, that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. I don't care about anybody else. Oh, my God. You know, that's, that's, that's so funny. Now, Michael, I actually have to do some little housekeeping really quick. Uh-oh. I have to do an official uh, apology. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... He, they all, we're going to watch each, they've all been doing things since the series off, and he actually was in a, in a, in a wonderful uh, stage production of Dessa Rose. Uh-uh. And I, he actually invited me to come the first time I had a family thing happen, which he knows about, of course. The second time I was supposed to come, <laughs> another family thing happened. Oh, really? It was a, it was a car crash. Actually. Oh, no. Oh. So we're all we're okay. Um, so I couldn't make it. It actually happened that earlier that day. Oh, sorry about that. And so I wanted to say, I really wanted to come see you, and now it's off. It's done. Yeah, we closed. But I wanted to apologize on my birthday. It's cool. If I follow because now if you haven't watched his episode of this show, he came on this show. We had a wonderful conversation. Oh, you yeah. and I, yeah. when you were on this show, yeah. you know, we had a great. You do look at that. Look, it's on breaking into. It's a good. It's a good conversation. <laughs> a couple things I, that, that you said on that show, I still tell people about. Actually, oh. I've used. Oh, look at that! Great. Wow, <laughs> that's a lasting impression. Uh, yes. How about that? So I follow where my account goes. I couldn't follow him to a show. <laughs> but I follow you anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> well, I that. appreciate that. that. Now we're going to talk to somebody who's new because he hasn't been on before. So what has your experience been on this uh, this uh, series for you, El? It's been really interesting. I was originally just supposed to be like a one day, one episode, one episode. And one day I was just—I literally texted him and said, "I need you to be in this web series." Oh, yeah. So can you do this? <laughs> and it was just this like last minute like play this counselor guy yeah. who I happened to have a name. Like I, it could have been anybody. Wow. And uh, and I shot with that one scene with them. And yes. I'm not really sure what happened. How it turned into. <laughs> and then this, I like, told I, t- I think I told you I was like this should be a yeah like I was, and then like in when when and I don't like to give. Compliments to Yale very awkward. Oh my God. <laughs> None of us do. Oh you don't Nobody understand. said it's like a big thing. You Nobody don't wants understand a like the aftermath of giving him a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. It hurts her so much. It hurts me. It hurts, it hurts my insides. To like let her know how much she loves like, me. Like <laughs> how much. I'm like the other day I told him because I, I, he sings on the worship team with me at my, at my church. So does Michael, and I'm gonna be gone for a few weeks. And I asked him. I was like, please sing on this day with me. And I was like, I hate singing without you. And he's like, that hurt. I was like, I almost didn't send it. <laughs> My thumbs were shaking. I wrote, oof, that must have hurt. <laughs> so I admit that, and she would have, my thumbs were shaking. I almost couldn't press that. <laughs> it core, it like guts her. Uh, so give a compliment. compliment. Yeah, but against my better judgment, I'm going to say this. <laughs> on air. Uh, on air. It's on air. Yeah, live. After that first scene that he did, I was like, he's really, because I, I didn't know him very well mm-hmm. okay. at, at that point, and I was like, he's really good. Like, And then he like, looks good on camera mm-hmm. and so we were like what can <laughs> we go on <laughs> yes tell me more, yes, carry on. <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> but I we were like trying to figure like i was like okay well he's definitely going to be this counselor yeah. character yeah. but how do we incorporate him right this character into the the dynamic of the, the rest of the group yeah. and um and then I, lionel who plays who plays dwight was talking to me about wanting to explore Dwight having a relationship and his desire for that and just kind of wanting to portray that in the web series and I was like well here's Dave and here's mm-hmm. Dwight and I think that that would be really cute yeah. and it creates a little yeah. mess too I mean yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. Because, that's what yeah. I find the most interesting about playing Dave in this crazy world yes. of like crazy characters that he it seems to be the most like stable and balanced yes. and he's with the most, you know, the yeah. highest <laughs> personality, you know, so it's like they kind of like find a weird balance. Yes, mm-hmm. I, I, I see that. Yeah, um, you're always you're always definitely like really, like really. Yeah. Like, really? I seem I, I kind of like I feel like I'm the, he's kind of the voice of the audience yes, in general, where the audience yes. is just like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and he's like, what are you doing? Yeah. What did you see between you and, and her that you you basically you're doing that? Yes. Yeah. Like, hello, like yeah. hello, like you are the voice of the audience. Yeah, in a very. Are. 
was I've discovered a very Cuban way. <laughs> <laughs> the accent comes out. Really okay. I don't even notice it most of the time until I see it on screen. I'm like, oh, that was. <laughs> you know, and the very, reason for that, I think, is that there's just a lot of shouting in this show. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know how to shout any other way. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, know, I, I can't shout and not be ethnic. Uh, I don't know how to do it. Comes hand in hand. So how, I mean, how did, so how do you know how do you know her how do you how'd you get in this whole uh, I from church from, from church, church. Yeah, we've we've from singing for together for at church um, for, oh, what, was like two years yeah, ago yeah oh, right, wow okay. yeah. and it feels like it was just yesterday sleep with steaks in your face a little <laughs> um, I but, do so you do so now what, so what else do you do you're an actor actor singer, singer all of the above <laughs> okay very good very good thirst trap is it it the first track? <laughs> yeah, look at look at. It's so bad. I can't. Oh I can't. So I can't, I can't, so well, funny. I can't plug my Instagram for the thirst trap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I laugh right into the mic. It's a lot. Uh, so, are you from here? I was actually born in Cuba. Okay, wow. I was raised in Miami. Of course. Um, <laughs> of course. North Cuba, as yeah. I like yeah, to call it. Yeah. And uh, then I moved out to LA about ten years ago. Okay. And I've been out here doing. Puerto Rican here, so I understand. I'm You're Puerto Rican? Half Rican, yeah. My mother's uh, from Jose. I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Puerto Rican, you're not the same. <laughs> Our flags are similar to different. They're like inverted. They are. Like, like, inverted, yeah. I couldn't get more creative than that. It's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, we're just the opposite. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. That's cool. Do you like LA? I love LA. I love yeah. living out here. And I love getting to work on stuff like this. Yeah. Like, getting to develop a character is. I think one of the most satisfying things for an actor is to is we're all storytellers. We love to be storytellers, and to get to develop something and and a point of view that could be interesting, or in my case, like the voice of the audience, kind yeah. of, I f that is so fulfilling to me. Yeah. It's so fulfilling to be part of this kind of storytelling. Do you agree, Harry, with that? You get to actually not, not just coming uh, on doing a film really quick or one little bit part and go. You're actually oh sure. I mean, this is my first web series that I've ever done. Um, and the whole TV show web series, like you don't really know what's going to happen in the next episode. That's exhilarating and confusing, and you're kind of lost. But um, you get to grow with the story, figure out your character more, kind of thing. Um, there's a interesting essence about not knowing what's going to happen because yeah. with short films movies you know everything that's going to happen yeah. um, so it's been great to grow even on the season two yeah we have a season two yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah to grow and see what everybody's done you know inside the show and outside the show so it's been a great experience for sure so michael doing a season two i mean let people know how e not how not easy it is to get to a season two of a, a we, series we we waited an entire year. <laughs> yeah, right. And moved heaven and earth. And, but yeah. it, was, it right. wasn't because Easy because long. as you can see, Lionel isn't here ever. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Lionel, get my show, get my show. <laughs> and Come so that, that was like one of the 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 first hurdles that we had yeah. to jump on over is like, okay, when is he here so that we can kind of like shotgun these these scenes? But um, I always wanted to do another scene. Mm -hmm. You know, like. Because you don't, especially with a with a series like this, you want to know what happens next with these characters, yeah. and like you kind of, I, as the, as a writer, like I love the character, like I love, even as I'm like brainstorming or like looking at my computer trying to write, I'm like, so what's gonna happen next for Naya, or what's gonna happen next for Lolo, or, and or you know like just trying to picture what their stories are mm -hmm. and. Um, there's a wealth of stories with these characters because they're so like the, the breadth of them and the depth of them is is, is limitless because mm -hmm. they're actually you know, they're people and and we all are very deep and wide in our own ways and I you know I enjoy experience you know experiencing and trying to figure out their depths and their you know their their um, reasons. Raison bitch, as they say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so fancy. So fancy. French, so fancy. French all the time. <laughs> so fancy. She got French. <laughs> but you know, but here's the thing. I also like about the series. Again, we we would talk about you know Lola and Steven, just that you guys look different than what we see in couplehood on television yeah. or in web series. And like it's just you guys have just each have unique looks. And you both are persons of color, but not just black white or black Asian or, or right. white this. I mean, like, it's, it's very interesting. I like to see that on, on the series. And I'm like rooting for your characters. Thanks. You know? Awesome. Me and, too. And like, there's some things I want to answer too. I don't have to watch the series and find out who we answer or not. Uh, I don't give anything away out there. But there's things by me. But so does that mean, do you guys really realize that kind of, that you're playing something, you're representing something that we don't see, we don't see that often? 
<laughs> Either one of you can say Someone something. I, no, I think it's I, I think that's one of the greatest things about this show is the diversity in it, mm -hmm. um, and the interracial relationships, um, um, everything about that. Um, because I mean, I feel like we should be going towards that more diversity, um, showing what the world can be like, kind of thing, and that racism shouldn't be a thing. Or it, I mean, it's, it's so LA. I mean, LA. Just yeah, kind of, right. Well, what's yeah. funny is that, like, for me, I don't really. I do see that it is different, like a different dynamic, but in my life, this dynamic has always been. Like my my ex from years ago is exactly <laughs> like Harry. Really? His name was Steven. Oh he my was goodness. half oh. Korean, half Caucasian. What? Oh, whoa. And that just happened. Like that, I didn't know you didn't know any of it. Oh, didn't oh know the name God. or anything. So oh I was like, God. this is really weird. Like, are, you, are you in my mind? Like, are no, you in I, my that soul? Is, Divine she, intervention. Tia was like, my mom's like, did you tell him? <laughs> no, I didn't know it. And she would, as she relayed that, I was like, oh, is this okay? I'm, I'm, I don't, I, we can't I like, change yeah, his name fine. now. Right. <laughs> but it's like, it's, it's always kind of been in my life. Like I grew up in Northern Virginia, which is very uh, diverse area mm -hmm. um, because of the army bases and all of that. Yeah. So in my life, it was always, this was always my mm -hmm. group of friends. Um, but I do know it is not the norm. Yeah, so. right. it's just not sad. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. We're going to show a scene from this new season. Look at that. He wants to be my therapist more than he wants to be my boyfriend. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm not here for it. And then this one come blowing in here like a Category 5, whining about some shit that don't even matter. Excuse you, my life going part does matter. It matters more than you complaining about a guy who loves you so much who's willing to say the shit about you that needs to be addressed. You know, you're not the easiest Love your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we should try it. You want to talk about men who love us that we take for granted? Or should I just call Steven over tonight? Oh. <laughs> you know that it's a complicated situation and we are not discussing it. Okay, but we're going to talk about my shit, then we're going to talk about yours. Okay, that's what I thought. Anyways, hi. How's <laughs> <laughs> tour life? When are you coming home? Oh, I miss you guys so much. Our tour's great. We've been to 12 cities in the last two weeks. Wow. I'm really tired, but I love it. Look at you, living the dream. I'm here for it. <laughs> well, that's all great and all, but um, when are you coming home? I need you here to reel this one in when he starts doing too much. Oh, um, actually, I'm coming home in two weeks. <gasps> really? Yeah! Good, it's about time, time, girl. We will throw a party for you when you get here. Oh, and we're going to find you a man. Stop it. No, you <laughs> live your best life. I'm doing just fine. Okay, well, look, just fine. I gotta go. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'll have to talk later. Are you gonna be apologizing today? Mm. <laughs> so I just want to show that. It's, Anyways, I gotta the, go too. After, after this, you have to actually watch the series what happens after that. <laughs> I have questions. Very, it gets very Cuban after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I was like, what? <laughs> I saw that, I was like, oh my God. That's <laughs> like I said about that. But it's, again, it's just like, it's how friends talk. Yeah. The expressions on your face just like, okay. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me let these two do their thing. Yeah. And how you're talking, I guess we're talking, holding, it's just, it's just that's what friends do. It was so, like, so real. I love it. <laughs> Thank I you. I love that. Um, okay, so I want to ask you guys kind of what you guys have been doing since then. I want to show a picture okay. because she's already famous on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's my Fifi. Oh, my oh, I, I just said earlier, oh best gosh, accessorized, she's best dressed. The most gorgeous. That's my yeah. phoenix. She oh, is the bomb. When I saw you last, she was not here yet. She was not. So congratulations. I mean, she was here, but she was. Yeah, she was. <laughs> she, was she was on the other side. She was still baking. Um, yeah. Right. 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 So th that's basically what I've been up to. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are, are you sleeping at all yet, or? You know, she's uh, she's an amazing. She's an amazing baby. Everyone, whenever they see her, she loves to be out. She's very social. She's oh my very focused. Um, she's she actually, loves the camera, obviously. She loves yeah, the camera. Yeah, clear, clearly. She, she's uh, nine months now, so she enjoys our photo shoots when we go out <laughs> and is very curious about what's going on yeah. around her. And she actually sleeps really well now. Okay. So um, I still don't sleep as like I, like yeah, I used well, to because I, I, mean, I love me some sleep. <laughs> okay, we don't have for a while. But, um, it's all worth it. What's it been like working on the series uh, while having a baby? You know, it, I think it was harder when I was pregnant to Ooh, work. Okay. Um, I, I was just kind of blah. Like, I just felt very <laughs> yeah. drained all yeah. the time. And even though, I, you know, I have to get home to feed her and all that and, and all that jazz, um, it's a, I feel like I have 
more of me back as an actor oh, to because okay. I at that time when you know the first season I'm sharing myself you know growing oh, yes. growing her yes. and so now that I'm kind of just me I'm able to get back to the actor and you know, the sense. artist that I am so that makes sense. Um, yeah it's been great and that uh, was why we were excited about season two because season one I don't want to say it got derailed, but the path totally changed did. when we found out <laughs> oh, yeah. right. you were pregnant. Right. Right. And we don't want to just hide you behind a person. No. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, so it then became about the person. I want answers mm-hmm. of season two. I want some answers because I don't have any answers yet. I've got to keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, folks. I'm going to say that about that situation. We like questions, though. We, yes. like, we like the fact that there's questions. Yeah, there's about questions. About mm-hmm. Michael. Uh huh. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> like mm-hmm. Now, I, I his jaw just dropped. I, 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 and uh, Melinda, you, I mean, I've been seeing you singing and yeah. performing. How's that going? It's going really well. I'm working on my fifth album and it's going to be touring uh, next month. I'm doing two, four, actually, um, actually six. I think I just signed you. <laughs> six guest entertainer contracts on some cruise lines and then I'm touring around oh, the country wow. for my album. Yeah. Wow. So your fifth album. Yep. When is it coming out? In June. Wow, congratulations. I'm, so, I'm, I'm a first from the bottom. I'm very, so. happy. Yeah. I'm very excited for you. You have a beautiful you. voice. Thank you. But I've seen it. So, I mean, so you really are doing the singing and acting that you're doing in both? More so singing. I mean, acting okay. is, is fun and I enjoy it, but singing has always been my first passion okay. and always will be. Yeah. And what can we expect on this album? Um, a lot of my heart, definitely, and a lot of more vulnerable music. Very good. Yeah. I'm so excited for you. Thank so you. Great. As a person now is releasing his album, his first, its first album uh, next month. It's hard to do. Yes, it's a lot of work. Putting it together, picking the songs. Yeah. You know, yeah. you write, I write. We just mm-hmm. try to put together. I have a, a, a greater affection and a ma- admiration for you guys who've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. It's yeah. not. It's not it's easy, not, but it's yeah. fun, isn't it? It's it is. Really... It's rewarding once once you finish. It is. <laughs> yes. so. And then Michael, you think you were doing mm-hmm. this? So how did how the run go? It was great. We we um, had. Like ten sold out shows. That's good. Um, I just enjoyed it. It, it's, it had been a while since I'd done a musical, and right. I think the last musical I did was with Melinda. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was sort of like a fringe fringe festival. Uh, musical that yeah. shall not be named. Oh really? Dang it. <laughs> oh wow. Is there a YouTube video out there somewhere? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I found we it. We have a clip right here. <laughs> <laughs> I found it. It's right here. Right now. <laughs> But yeah, so it, it was great to be able to kind of um, play with a character and like sing and and work against people in a in a because Dessa Rose is a is about slavery and, yeah and so it, there were certain difficulties I guess accessing certain emotions because you didn't want to and mm. um, but I but I think. I had, was a great cast, and we worked well together, and um, yeah, it, it, it was fun. Well, it's interesting, though, it's interesting because when you were here last, I talked I talk about it with some friends of mine, when you were here last time, you put out a video piece yeah. that was very powerful, made me cry, I told you about that already, and so I'm, it's about emotions, getting into finding those emotions, having to connect to them yeah. every night. I mean, that was just a piece you just did, I mean. What's interesting is one of the things, myself and um, the woman who played Dessa Rose, we had this idea that we were going to we just put photos of our people on on the wow. the mirror in the dressing rooms and um, I you know I had my great 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 grandmother's wow. photo just kind of you know to give me some kind of access point and um, and it was it was good and I, and the character that I played was a lot lighter than the other character like he was going through the same things as they were in terms of running being a runaway slave but his perspective was just kind of trying to get everyone free as opposed yeah. to like being weighed down by the fact that we were runaway slaves. So I didn't have to be as angry and, and sad and broken as the other actors oh, okay. did, but um, but kind of giving them something to, to work off of was, was very interesting for me because I did, I, I don't. I haven't gotten the opportunity to place characters of such depth in a while, and so it was interesting as an actor. It seemed like to me because we had a talk on our show that you were kind of wanting to go 
certain directions now right with our current political climate <clears throat> right and things <laughs> that you want to go certain directions in your own life you talked about that how yeah. you were changing your perspective so i thought it was really interesting you did a show like this yeah no it came at the right like the perfect and time. divine intervention and yeah, yeah it was it was definitely <laughs> meant for me um and where i am in my thoughts and my heart and everything and um you know i, I miss it i miss being able to in in that particular production one of the greatest things for me was the audience response afterwards. Like they would come up to us after the show, and you know, it was, it was a largely Caucasian audience, most really, of, a lot of times. And and oh, wow. oh they love sleeping music. Come on now, don't be <laughs> bring it out. You know who is in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. But, but like their, their, their responses to it. The three of us quietly <laughs> just kind of take it in. Just get the three right. on the couch. Uh, uh, Linda. Just tell like it is. I know, I just, I that's why I love you. It's fine. He was wonderful, though. I did get to see it. Okay. And he was great. And, you know, but, but the responses were, you know, kind of seeing people think in a different light than maybe they had prior to mm -hmm. seeing this kind of story told. Because it was a little bit different than just your yeah. run-of-the-mill slavery musical. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 Once Disney starts doing oh them, everybody gosh. does. Run-of-the-mill. <laughs> Can that not be afraid? <laughs> <laughs> no, that should be so run-of-the-mill, runaway musical. <laughs> oh, sure. Okay. Oh you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it, it was great. The end. The end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's move on. Let's move on. That's the table. To so Justin, so any projects you're working on? Anything you've been working on? I was just trying to stuff? get more uh, films made so we can get my name out and get people looking at me. Because I love directing, I love working with yeah. actors. Working with actors is my favorite part of the whole filmmaking okay. process. Is like watching people become these characters, or like oh, wow. bring something in that I hadn't thought of. You're like, wow, like where'd you find that? Like, how'd you find that emotion yeah. or that action or whatever? Like, um, so just planning out things right now, yeah. and like the biggest thing always being trying to find the budget for things. Yes, of course. But, you know, yes. we scrape oh, yes. and we work and we yes. make it happen. So, what what kind of director are you? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Good question, right? Question. For you, what kind of director do you think you are? You think you are? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I'm excitable, and I think like when I get time to really get into things, and like when I have time to work with people and rehearse things, I get like that's where I feel like I really shine. Like okay. being able to plan and lay out groundwork, and then yeah. we get on the day and we just shoot it, and like it's fun then. But I love the the beginning parts of it and the rehearsals and the prep. Yeah. Um, so I think I'm more on that. It's like I like to front load everything and then we just have fun the rest of the time. And you were talking earlier about the dancing <laughs> stuff. Is there a different way to shoot as uh, dancing scenes than there is like just regular moving shots? It's, it, for me, it's just more, I mean, I feel like I get to dance a little bit because <laughs> I'm, oh, right. I'm following the dancers okay. and I'm like working off of their choreography and trying to get a good shot and capture the story and the emotion. So I, I think that's why I like it is that it's, kind of like I get to dance and I'm not like a good dancer. Might <laughs> <laughs> like, break it, it down or don't you? Might break it down when someone lets know. Mm -hmm. That's, I, I think, know you said that. But, um, Justin's actually, you know, he's very much an, an actor's director. He knows how to speak to actors and how to keep them. Some some directors um, <laughs> Shade, it's coming. Shade's coming. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it. They don't know how to speak to actors. Right. We're very like temperamental mm -hmm. beasts. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. so you take things to heart. And so Justin knows how to say what he wants, but also not put us off or make us mm. defensive. Yeah, he doesn't make it about him. Right. Some exactly. directors make it about oh, them. Okay, got yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. When they direct. And he understands it, especially in this sort of the element of this show that we are creating these characters um, and they are a part of us um, and he allows us that room to kind of like play with it. Which is like having fun watching it happen. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's having fun watching you guys do it, right? Yeah, and I, I mean, I've never thought about that, but I, like when I'm, when I'm getting to direct, like I don't think about me and not trying to like toot my horn, but like right. it really is more for me, like I'm experiencing this and this is great. Wow. And I love that. Yeah, and there's I, a lot of free reign. When he when when doing a scene with him, it's, he's just like 
Yeah, and great. We'll say, go for it. Go for it. We'll say part of that's because usually we're shooting at breakneck speed. <laughs> well, yeah. That's true. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of time. Yeah. yeah. With a lot of distraction. Because I got no time restriction on my iPad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got, we got yeah. four hours before we got to leave her place. Yeah. 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 Five bitches. Everybody get out. Yeah. She's yeah. never yeah. more a producer until five o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. All right, gotta go. Or when we're in the in the next episode that comes out this this week, we're in a sewer. So we're like. We gotta hurry up because we're in a sewer. Yeah. <laughs> there was so the urgency was like, not acting. Yeah. No, that yeah. was there was not, just, there's sure. a scene between yeah. Dwight and Dave, and we were like, can Meryl and Viola <laughs> hurry up? <laughs> <laughs> because they were taking it was the day that Golden Globe nominations came out. Like oh, nominations yeah. were already out, guys. But, like, you're not gonna get them. In <laughs> our defense, in, in our <laughs> defense, <laughs> it was the climax. Scene of the whole arc that's been building for yeah, the whole yeah. first season. This yes. is so <laughs> important. It was the climax. I will give you that. Like we had to so, give it its due do diligence. Do like okay. it, it's a great scene. This. Okay. It's we need you to meet at the coffee shop and do it before. <laughs> 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 Work everything, yes. all the emotional beats out yes. before we get, we'll into, get into the store. Into a sewer. <laughs> that's, that's the rehearsal. One day we'll have the budget for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. One day. We also won't shoot in a real <laughs> sewer. We'll build a sewer. Oh. Yes, exactly. It'll be all green screen. Green screen sewer. Now, now, Harry, of course, I follow you too. You, you are doing. I mean, you're doing modeling. You have that cyborgs. You have, you have lots of stuff going on. Can you tell people what's going on? Uh, yeah, we have the cyborgs thing going on. We've been working on that for. Yay. Thank you, thank um, you. No, it's it's been exciting. Uh, when my first day on set, like. He was like, well, we're going to climb up this mountain and shoot and stuff. And I'm like, I just moved to L.A. Like, I don't know, like, is this supposed to happen? But you're on a mountaintop, and I don't have a car, so it's either you do it or you don't. Uh, but, no, it's been going really well. I'm very blessed to be a part of it. We've been shooting for about over a year and a half now yeah. for the pilot and developing the rest of the yeah. series. Um, we are now SAG, which is really nice very as well. Good. So thank very you, SAG. Very good, yes. Thank you so um, good. And our director, Leonardo Cabucci, he's been amazing to work with, developed an amazing team. Um, I feel like I'm a part of a startup company in a way, um, which is just full of love. I mean, like this group as like well. Too, yeah. So I've been very, very lucky with the people I've been working with. Um, but also doing the runway thing as well. Yes. I have a show tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. Because um, he's a model, so I yeah, yeah, yeah. really hard. Yeah. I am tall. Yeah. Yeah. Like a a model. tall Asian yeah. is kind of abnormal. So like, then, you're yeah. weird, but it's okay. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. We'll talk about that last one a little bit, because you have this this look. They're like, okay, well, he's not that white. Right. He's not <laughs> Asian. Right, exactly. And then what Asian is he half of? And yeah. this whole thing well, for you. When I, when I, one of my first talent agencies out here, they were submitting me for Asian roles, and I wasn't getting back anything and I was like maybe you should submit more more Caucasian kind of thing because they're looking for full Asian which I don't look like Mm -hmm. which is fine Um, but yeah it's interesting to play with um, the different (laughs) ethnically ambiguous if you will and to kind of toy with that but I'm definitely blessed with the opportunities I've received so far and we're just going to keep going up right I have a a friend uh, Christopher Mm Sean he's half he's half Japanese half white Oh, cool. The light eyes. He's on Days of Our Lives and oh, I'm on wow. Hawaii Five-0. Oh. That's good to hear. I'm going to say, I'm going to point. It took him a while to, again, to find right, right. Well, who, 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 who we put. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. what we put. Well, it's all like about the actor type and like what yes. type you're going to play and stuff like yeah. that. And that's w- one reason why I love being a part of this show because it's so different from Cyborgs, which is a sci-fi action right. show. Um, and this, I'm, you know, trying to, you know, bring our relationship guy. back together yes. yeah or i try to be yes. um but uh madly in love with lola's character um and just trying to fix this relationship and trying to figure out where i'm going with my life in general and this other character who's completely different so it's it's interesting to kind of go back and forth yeah. um and it's cool to research yeah but, very good yeah. now el what else are you doing these days uh, here oh, in man. los angeles <laughs> We're, uh, working a lot I, I run a, i also run a vacation rental company wow aside okay from, aside from that <laughs> Um, Where is it at? Where is it? It's all in Hollywood. It's all uh, properties in Hollywood. Wow, that I, okay. Just for tourists that want to visit LA. So wow. like, just be busy. I know. Not nearly as exciting as <laughs> what they've got going on. <laughs> um, but it's making money. Hello. It's, that's it's, that's, that's that, right. That, that, making money is exciting, exciting, folks. Yeah, hi. Um, <laughs> yes. There's, a, there's an, a, another series that I did for the CW Seed 
that's a musical web series about vampires that I like to promote. Mm -hmm. Musical vampires, musical slave people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, there's, What's going on? There's a, actually, there's talks about there being a musical, musical episode of 202. Oh. Yeah, we're, yes. we're, we're, we're Oh, yeah. my God, you should do uh, it. Yeah. Totally yeah. do it. Because, because there's a lot of vocals. singing talent. Yeah, no, I know. You guys should do it. Yeah. I'll just we're, dance it. about the yeah, yeah. yeah, you dance it, bro. You dance it. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll just walk across camera. It'll be like the Buffy the Vampire episode where they just, everything's a musical for some reason. I feel like we have an we have an idea about yes. the reason why yeah. it's gonna be. Yeah, we want to say what it is. But it's it's so good. <laughs> but I can't you know, it's that. one of those things. Like, if we're gonna do it, I want it to be like good. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. And so of course. you don't want to rush something like that. No. So well, I'm but, excited. But we're, but it's going. We're it's gonna, gonna, gonna happen. Hey, Scrubs did one. Uh, those there's some ones that are they they were done well. They were done really well. So I'm very, I'm very excited. Once upon a time. Yeah. Once upon a time. They yes, did. Upon a time. They did. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my my producer, I did, uh, she used to be on the Once Upon a Time after show here. After, so she goes I used to that. love that show. It's yeah, so good. Too. Okay, so um, sadly, we're almost towards the end. Oh, we can stay here for another two or three hours with you guys. It's so <laughs> wonderful. Um, but this is what I do on this show, and Mike Kell knows this already. So, Mike Kell, you don't have to answer because you did it already. Okay. So I ask every person on my show, I've done 103 episodes of the show for the last two years, what, this is my two words question. Oh boy. So everybody think about this. The first question, I'm going to start with you, oh my dear, because <laughs> you're sitting right next to me. What word should we not say anymore in the English language? Or phrase, be word or phrase. Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. I mean, you work a little bit at the end. What, what word or phrase should we not, not say, say anymore? anymore? Um... <laughs> that's, that's I know. I'm, 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 Why I'm, am I sitting here? I have a, I have a kind of a funny answer already. Uh, <laughs> you know what, you're gonna <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm going to say? Know what you're gonna <laughs> the first thing that comes to my mind is can't. Well, I guess that's good. Mm -hmm. well, that's like, you got all positive. Yeah. I was like, oh, 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 Vape. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't remember that for. Uh, never. I like that. You should never say never. Never, never say never. And yeah. See, yeah, I love it. Mine, my, mine was kind of cut along with hers, but I actually love to use it. Other people hate it, but my word is moist. I hate oh, <laughs> But I also have to say it like moist. I have to drop it into A my lot face. Of people register. hate that word. It's really it's funny. Disgusting. And men it like covers it. so I much. No, no, I love to use when it. When I hear it, no, I, I think of cake. That's yeah. Would you, would you like some cake? It's moist. <laughs> yes, I would. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like a good cake, actually. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, okay. so the next one is, uh -oh. what word or phrase should we say more of? Or say it. <laughs> um, oh, I don't like being in this. The hot seat. Yes. Again, uh, I would say, say ask me what. So, you, what word or phrase should we say more of? <laughs> can you repeat the question? <laughs> can you buy? Can you buy me time? time? Can you repeat the question? A -A -A What's the <laughs> time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say. You're doing great. Honey. Okay, we do phrase. <laughs> I leave for the drum roll. That that to remember we're all the same. That's good. I love that. That's great. Thanks. <laughs> but seriously, that's a good one. I like that. Miss Melinda? I think we need to stop saying, I'll try. Either you're going to do it or you won't. Mm. So I, I need people to stop saying that. Like, I'll try to come to your show. So what should I'll they say I'll try then? to do this. I'll try to be there on time. <laughs> oh, I don't know why you're looking at me. <laughs> I, don't know why you're I am not the only one. So I, I prefer honesty. So like, if you know you're going to be late, just say you're going to be late. If you can't come, don't come. If you don't want to do that, don't do it. So basically, be honest. Yeah, be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And shoot some daggers over at him as well, <laughs> by the way. Oh, he gets some. He, he gets some. He got some. Throw that hair back. Throw that hair back. Justin? Uh, wow. Like, like, well, okay. Because we should be more wowed about I like that. Things. I like that. That's so good. Harry? I'm um, tagging on to Melinda a little bit. Um, I will. Ooh, I like that. Because a lot of, I mean, like you say, a lot of people say, I, you know, I want to try this. Very just, LA too. Just, just do it. Yeah. Because yeah. if, I mean, if you don't go for it, like if you if you do it and you fail, cool, get back up, do something exactly. again. 
Um, but if you never go out for it, then you'll just never know. Yeah. Like, if we never did this, we wouldn't be here right now. Sure. Um, but I feel like fear draws us back a lot. And it's like, if you don't face the fear, then, you know, you can't accomplish anything. Really. Yeah. But yeah. I got deep. <laughs> no, I like that. I like that. Mine is uh, is based on some. I met this person and I became kind of friends with her, and I loved it when she would ask me that. But I we don't live in a society where this kind of a question is okay. She would always see me and go, "How's your heart? How's your heart? How's your heart? How's your heart?" Mm. And I think that's such a beautiful beautiful way of saying how are you? Because how are you doing? You're like, "Oh, I'm yeah. fine. I'm okay." Yeah. But how's your heart? Is a very specific question yeah. that has to do with the with the person saying, "I care about how you feel." But in this society. If you're less than okay, people don't want to hear about it. Right. They don't want to talk about it. They're just like, no, 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 no feelings can't. No, no, don't want to talk about feelings. I think it would be, it would be a better world if we could say, "How's your heart?" Oh, and lovely. answer that's accordingly. Beautiful. We're gonna end on that. I mean, that's a, that's exactly yeah, what we're gonna end that. on. That's beautiful. Yeah. Nice. It's very beautiful, you guys. Thanks for being on the show again. Thank, Thank you for having us. us. Thank you. You're welcome back anytime. Thank Season you. three, Thank four, tomorrow, five. Tomorrow. Next tomorrow. day. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. 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 Um, you guys are actually are on social media at 202 The Series, correct? On all yeah. social media mm-hmm. platforms. You can yes. do that there. Um, now I'm going to just go from each around. Tell, we'll start actually from EL. And go around <laughs> this way. Tell, tell them where they can find your social media and your camera. I am Uremus on everything. Uremus on Twitter, Uremus on Instagram. How do you spell that? Yeah, spell that. E- um. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. E-U-R-I-A-M-I-S. Perfect. Uh, my Instagram is Harry Holmes ninety. You can also find uh, me on my Facebook actor page um, at facebook.com slash Holmes Harry D. Uh, I know. <laughs> Just let it out. Just let it go. It's fine. Oh, so, yeah, Instagram and Facebook. We almost made it yell when you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Never heard it before. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my yes. <laughs> Justin. I'm on Instagram at Justin underscore A G A. Uh, and that's my Twitter too, but I don't want to use that. <laughs> <laughs> use that. Yeah, yeah. Too cool for that. I think I really slick on that one. Hey, Mike Hill. All right. What was that? What was that? Sultry. What's going on? What is happening? My Instagram <laughs> and Twitter is official Mike Hill. That's official M Y K E L L. <laughs> I need to know what just happened. And Melinda, say uh, travels to you on your travels. We'll say that. Thank you so yes. much. Yeah. Uh, my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Spotify, everything is just at Melinda Hale, M A L Y N D A H A L E. And Fifi's mom. Uh, my Instagram is Tia Robinson. You can also check out Fifi at Life of Fifi. Um, I'm on her page more than I am my own. <laughs> um, yes. And my Facebook is the same Tia Robinson. Perfect. And I'm James Law Jr. Following where all James Law Juniors are at James Law Jr. On <laughs> social media platforms. Breaking Into is on Facebook, Breaking Into page. We're on Black Hollywood Live. We're on iTunes. We're on YouTube. Go ahead and check this out. You can listen to us in this episode or actually watch us again being crazy and funny and talk this great series, 202 the series. Watch the series and tell me what you think. Tell yes. me, tell me, yes. tell me. Yes. Tell yes. them yes. what you yes. think. Yes. Comment, yes. rate us, subscribe everything. to them. But just everything. Let them know how you think. Because, I, again, I believe in the series so much that I'm so happy that it's on Thank the air. You. Thank, Thank you, guys. Great. See you next time. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. From executives Kevin Undergaro, Dario Kristen, Tiana Hobson, and the entire BHL staff, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African-American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us. Info at BlackHollywoodLive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I am the official voice of Black Hollywood Live, Scipio. Instagram me at KingXOBay. Thanks for tuning in. The views expressed here are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or